Hey, welcome back. Today we are building the fourth and the final of the room sets that are released at the beginning of 2023. This is Leanne's room. She's in here with Autumn and her gecko. Her little gecko friend Popcorn, which is the best name. I think that's so cute. Okay, so we'll have a look at them closer as we build them. But this set has 204 pieces, $33 here in Australia. I think it's about $22 at Kmart. So if you're in Australia, go shop and at Kmart. <laughs> if you're elsewhere, look for them on the store shelves uh, rather than buying them from the Lego shop because they're cheaper there. So, all right, so we have got two bags. We've got a very nice bright orange base plate and some really, really great stickers <laughs> how many people say that I love the stickers they add so much character to the set and we've got Leanne's signature page here and where she is situated on the map now, I'm going to compile these soon so we know where everybody is it's gonna be pretty chockers in there too this is very exciting I'm just loving the new Heart Lake City and the new sets and everything about 2023 so far is that too much no <laughs> I don't think so right so Leanne Leanne has got Awesome little lime green shoes with socks. I just love the socks and shoes look. It's not something we see very often with the mini dolls and it's really adorable. She could have done with another, ew, creepy ear feet, another layer of green on those shoes because they're, they're a bit dodgily colored. But anyway, her, sh oh, so she's got overalls. She how she's got no paint on her overalls, but she's got paint just on the shirt underneath is beyond me. That takes a special amount of skill, I think. But the detail in this on the, both the back and the front with a strap that that, you know, hasn't it made its way to being done up again, which is so understandable. Trying to <laughs> go to the bathroom in overalls is a pain. You gotta undo the straps. Yeah, anyway, so it's a lot of work. So we've got Leanne's face, which we've seen before, her hair, which we've also seen before, but you put them together, put this whole cohesive mini doll together, and she's just absolutely wonderful. These new characters are just delightful. They're full of so much everything. I don't know. I don't have enough descriptors. So we've got our messy looking Leanne happening here. She is joined by Popcorn the Gecko. And this mold, this little chameleon gecko style mold was introduced for Bruni for for uh, for the frozen stuff. But this one, this one's got little dots, little brown dots down his back. I'm going to assume Popcorn's a he. I don't know why, but he can tell me what he identifies as later. So we've got Leanne. We've got Gecko the Popcorn. They are very, very cute together. They're just the whole the whole uh, new generation of Lego friends is just so much more modern than the old ones. I love it. They're, they're so full of character. So we've also got Autumn. Autumn has got the same coloured shoes as Leanne, but she's got a different fastening on them. So Leanne's have got little ties, like laces, and Autumn's appear to have Velcro on them, which makes perfect sense. It's a really thoughtful detail because she's differently limb-abled. She's got one hand. So this is, that's, that's just such a really thoughtful detail, if it's deliberate, which I'm sure it is. So she's got her shirt on, it's also <laughs> being absolutely liberally splashed with paint, so they're having a fabulous time here at Leanne's, Leanne's place. Uh, we've seen her face before, we've seen her hair before, but it does so not old, it's so cute. And I'm looking forward to doing some of the sets where they have different expressions. It's pretty wobbly with that, with that thin hinge there. But you know what, look at them together. They're gonna have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> this is really adorable. Okay, look. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to start going with Leanne's room. It's just so bright and colourful and it's just haphazard. So I actually have my suspicions that Leanne might be ADHD because Lego has hinted that we're going to see some invisible challenges with some of these new characters and they're going to be revealed as they go along. But a lot of the descriptors that go with yeah, with Leanne, with her, with my armchair psychology. <laughs> yeah, she seems. I I reckon she's got a bit of an extra superpower there. I think she might have might be might have ADHD. So it'll be so cool to see how she harnesses this. So we've got some paint pots in the background. Got a blue shelving unit here with some drawers. Got a pen in the top one. So she's an artist if you haven't read any of the descriptors here about Leanne. So a lot of us are questioning is she actually Emma's progeny but I don't know. I, I don't think we can just assume because she has an Asian looking heritage and because she likes art that she is related to Emma in any way. I'd be surprised actually that Lego would do that but I don't know. We'll it's all just gonna be revealed bit by bit, which is cool. So this nice big sticker here has got a hat rack on it, a picture of Leanne, Leo, and Autumn, and a skateboarding poster on there. I don't know who that might be. 
I want. I just kind of assumed before I'd looked at it too hard. I assumed that it was Leanne, but it's not. Ooh, so many new things happening here. And this is this. This is like her graphic tablet, her graphic art tablet. She's doing a cartoon or a graphic novel happening on here with that raccoon, with her ah, superhero trash panda. We saw it in the international school on the easel. So we're going to be seeing it everywhere because it's her thing, I think. So we've got a donut, I think. I, I know it's obviously her thing. Donut on the shelf because that's where we store donuts. Another paint pot, little orange paint pot. I just love how the paint pots are just randomly scattered around the room. <laughs> There is no rhyme or reason here. Pretty fun. <laughs> Drive me nuts, but yeah. Okay, and we got a lime pot here, and that goes up on the top, and that rounds over. The edge rounds over, so that's the edge. That's the edge. <laughs> the edge is a new word. It means edge and end of the wall. There's the two of them together. The edge and a graffiti style version of her name, Leanne, which I'm gonna put on just a slight bit straighter, just center it a bit more so that it doesn't drive me batty later on. So that goes up there, looking pretty lit. And then over here in this corner, we get a little corner seat. I just love corner seats. They're one of my most, that's not wrong. That's, that's, that's not wrong. That's not right. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> not wrong. There we go. That's better. So got a corner seat. Can't remember what I was saying before I got distracted by the fact that, <laughs> that it wasn't right, that it was not wrong. Okay. Yeah. Corner seats. Love them. And uh, yeah, there was one in, there was also a corner seat in, in Aaliyah's room. Aaliyah's room? Aaliyah's room. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it right. But this one's a different style and it's so colourful. So we've got the colourful tiling on there in green, yellow and vibrant color, coral and turquoise on the outside. And then some bright blue windows. These are colours that just we haven't seen in Lego Friends sets before and they should be an absolute horror tool put together but of course they're not because <laughs> the Lego designers got people working for them who know what colours work. Unlike me, I am so bad at colour theory. So we've got a nice big tall bank of blue windows on one side of our corner seat and then another big tall bank of windows. I was afraid I wasn't going to get that out. Over here on the other side that's so adorable. I think, I think I'm missing a corner seat in my life. I've always just wanted one and our house was never going to have one. It just doesn't fit. A little window seat just doesn't work. We don't have anywhere for one and I'm sad, which just means that all of my Lego builds are going to end up with a window seat. That's so, that's so cute. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Tiling the top with vi vibrant coral. I'm having trouble wording today. So apologies, but I'm getting, I'm sure I'm mostly coherent. <laughs> like, am I? Mostly. Ah, we got fibre coral, got some nice blue along the top, and that's done. The top's done. So now we just get around to the fun part of furnishing the inside. So, Leanne is a skateboarder. This skateboard in this colour, in this pale pink, is new, but it's also decorated. She's actually painted it, and it's got her superhero trash panda on the top, and on the bottom is the little checkerboard pattern but also with green sneakers and I'm just really suspicious there's the green sneaker a thing because Leanne's wearing green sneakers, Autumn's wearing green sneakers and there's a green sneaker picture at the bottom of the skateboard so conspiracy theory tinfoil hat I don't know is it a something I don't know okay that's what we got left at the end of bag number two <laughs> and now we're up to bag number two. So this is the bag that Autumn would have actually come in if I hadn't have pinched her out of there earlier. She comes, she's come to visit with a bit of grub on the ground, but that's okay. We fixed that and her mobile phone. So let's get on to the second bag and see what sort of furnishings are going inside this room. Cause we basically got the structure done. Now we just have to find out what's going in here. So this is like a little platform seat kind of thing. We've got a bit of greenery on the background, a bit of foliage. This is for popcorn to just hang out on. It's a little popcorn stand. Ha! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> this is going very badly. Thank you. So this is also not a popcorn stand. This is an art easel and we've got a couple of pictures here of popcorn coming on and this one's Leanne's and popcorn is very safely wearing a helmet, which is nice, on the pink skateboard that we just saw before. So popcorn's hanging out there. That's really cute. So yeah, she's got she she's just obsessed with this, uh, with with graphic novel style art by the look of things. And the other easel here is for Autumn, and she has got she's got a different coloured paintbrush. So one's green, one's blue, like we also saw in the international 
international school and this picture autumn is having a go at painting popcorn too anyway so pretty it's <laughs> so pretty okay so you know different levels of artwork experience and different styles I just I just love it the like I said at the beginning I mean no one likes putting stickers on because they're a pain but they just add so much to the build so we've got this and down the bottom we've got the little cup which I assume is for just popping I mean it's got water in it for rinsing your brush off so we'll pop these easels over here out of the way because they're not actually supposed to go into the build they are subsidiary to build so heading into the build though got a hingy unit here which could be like a side bureau or something like that but it's not it's something a little bit special it's a little bit wow more art here which I am absolutely sure is done by Leanne and this is her this is her mat so she's got a wow with the popcorn with the popcorn with popcorn in the middle of it and it's now a speech bubble with the little quarter pie piece on the bottom. That's so clever. Got a pink splot over in the corner. There's the paint pot that it came from. The paint pot has the lid on it. So it's nice that the lid actually got put on there, but the pink splot has not been cleaned up. <laughs> we need some little pink gecko footprints leaning out of it. I don't even know how you'd start doing that in Lego. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very cute okay so this part here is actually a bookshelf putting the book binder picturey things here on with stickers and they just add some really great detail to them this one the other one the first one's got pink splots on it so there were pink splots they're moving around <laughs> getting spread around the room got a stereo down there on the bottom shelf that orange book's still looking pristine probably a school book <laughs> have been opened and then on the next level up is another layer of books and this one's got it's got a little speech bubble on it just really good detail it, I mean, they could all just be generic boring same cut and paste book binders binders but they're not and this one's got a little love heart on it so this one's like maybe a romance novel or her diary actually you know what there's actually reference to romance books in all of the sets I think Nova's room had the hidden poster there's the elves love story in Alia's room there's nothing in Leo's room that I noticed but there should be that's a bit of a that's a bit of an oversight you should I'll put a copy of Heartstopper on his shelves so this is actually a fold up bed bookcase bed it's a little Murphy bed but oh, hold on a Murphy bed is generally a sofa and a bed but how cool is that that's so tidy Leanne does not like lying down tidily though her hair is not going to let that happen so you can flip it up and then we got all this room and you can see that wonderful wonderful rug underneath Oh, this is so good. And a little tray with a cup and a donut. And there's already a cup on the floor. So they've been sitting here already chilling, having their afternoon tea. But there's, yeah, there's, oh, it's so good. The details in these are so good. They're packed full of so much good stuff. So this part here is going to attach over here. So we've extended the building area out. Oh, hello, Nat. <laughs> Thanks for coming to join the build. Go on again now, though. I'm going to get little Nats and Ants just wandering across my building table. <laughs> I don't know why. They just like to be close to me. They like the bright lights. <laughs> so this is Popcorn's... Uh, no, it's not an aquarium. What do you call it? What do you call a habitat for a reptile? I can't remember. It's, I've lost it. I've lost it. The words in the corner of my brain and not coming out properly. So you're going to tell me in the comments and then I'll read it and I'll remember. So I've got another stack of books on the top. It even looks like a superhero and a palette on here that all of the the sticker art on here the graphic art makes it yes yeah, so good okay and off to the side is a little orange container which i assume is supposed to be popcorn's food but popcorn's a reptile they eat like that should be full of live crickets or mealworms or something hoppy and <laughs> movie aroundy and it definitely isn't okay so we've got a little chair now which Leanne can use at her table and we're done. We're done. <laughs> it was a really very quick ending. We got to the end of the build because I was obsessing over what geckos are supposed to eat. But it's such a good build. All of these rooms are so good. So we've got a couple of easels here, which we could actually fit into the build if we pop the bed up when the bed's up. Uh, we can get, yeah, we can get this out. We get popcorn can be on the skateboard for Leanne's picture or up on the bench for Autumn's picture. So we got some choices here or hanging out on the bed. I mean... Everyone loves having a gecko in their bed. They're so cuddly. And the, even the outside looks great. Why are there these jumper studs on the top? Like these exposed studs. I don't think you can stack these bedrooms. Or can you? I hadn't thought you could. But now I need to go back and have another little look at how they're put together. Because they seem deliberate, right? They're not just there for 
Otherwise, it'd be all smooth. I don't know. <laughs> I might be overthinking this, but anyway. <laughs> okay, we've got to the end of the building. Oh, I got to the end too soon. But these rooms are just packed full of goodness. I'm sad that we've done all four of them now. Now I have to mess about with them and see what else we can do with them. Stack them. Yeah. <laughs> or make some with some of the other characters. So many good things. Oh my gosh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's time to go do all the things. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of Leanne's room and I'll be back with another video really, really soon. Off to have a look at all of these rooms together though first. Okay, bye.